are now moving into the year 2021. Today should be, depending on when I upload this, I think it'll be the 2nd or the 3rd of January. Okay. All right, so this video hopefully will be a quicker video. Um, okay, here's what I want to say. Let me grab them real quick. All right. We are going to give you a basic thing that you need to do or can do to help clear out the energy in your living space, whether it's just your bedroom, your kitchen, your living room, or you know, I don't know if you rent or buy or whatever. Um, I bought this. These are smudge sticks or... I don't know if I should call them sticks, but smudge or whatever. Okay, I already opened it up. Here's what they look like. Uh, I've got they make them in different sizes too. But I would get this because I usually buy the bigger ones that are about that thick and that tall, and it's like smoke goes everywhere. You're like, oh my god, just like unbelievable, dude. This fuck. I'm surprised my fire alarm didn't go off. So here's it doesn't have to get this one. It's called white sage. Now this is called mountain sage. I normally get white sage, but this I got at, um, God, I can never remember the name of that damn store. So this is called shaman smudge mountain sage. And all you do, I've got one I already started, is you light it up, right? And you put it out in sand. Or you can do it in water, but the water I think kind of ruins it, but it doesn't matter, you put it out in sand, whatever. So I'm gonna start this video out with this and I got a couple quick things here I'm going to show you. That's how you do it. Just light it up. Don't want any fire alarms going off. Yeah, that's good. All right, so this literally what it does is it breaks up the negative energy. So if you ever do an ayahuasca trip <laughs> or anything DMT, I would uh, I would smudge the room. In the entryway, maybe if you want the hallway, anything that's real, really just the room, I should say. I don't want to overdo it. All right. So let's get a little more in here on my computer. Put it out. So generally, what I'll do is I'll walk around my entire home. Okay. Um, sometimes I'll do it in the closets and I'll open the cupboards. You know, that's when I'm really doing like a cleanse. I'll do it like once or twice a year, but generally I'll do it at least once a week. And um, I will just walk through and kind of wave it through, especially at the entryways and the windows, okay, and my workspace. But generally, I'll walk through my whole room, and walk down the halls and in the kitchen, and, you know, whatever, okay. So what it does is it breaks up negative energy. So if you have negative connections from an entity, a negative spirit, a negative person, or a negative connection to a person, it'll, it'll dissolve that. It'll break it up and release you from that, okay. And you'll feel a little bit lighter, all right. So it basically clears the space. So before you do a trip, say, um, now I, I don't do mushrooms or LSD. I've never done that, never will. Um, if, you've ever, if you're if you going to do it, I have a friend who's thinking about doing an ayahuasca trip. First of all, I'd have someone like me there who's very grounded and can and hold, what's called hold the space. Holding the space isn't holding the space. It's really letting it go and expanding out and being very internally grounded. Because that'll help that person's energy to be grounded around you so they don't fly off all the place emotionally. So here's another thing I would recommend. I've already said this in a video before. Um, I did forget one thing. It doesn't matter. It's in the other room. But rubbing alcohol. You Have you ever got a rubbing alcohol massage? Years ago, I, I did it because of an injury at a physical therapy. And I always felt better when I, when I walked out. I thought, oh, I'll use massage. Rubbing alcohol also breaks up negative energy. You can put this in your hot bath water when you do salt baths. I would throw, I'd say this is a, only a 16 ounce, so I would say I'd throw about, I don't know, six to eight ounces into the, into the bath bathtub. What I started doing is I, I started putting rubbing alcohol, sea salt, and lavender oil. You can buy this pretty much at any grocery store. Most grocery stores have these things now. You can go to you know any kind of place like that. Grocery store, place that sells like smudge sticks. Staples, no, not staples, sprouts. I bought this at Sprouts. I'm in California, so I don't know if you have it where you're at. So what we're doing is breaking up the negative energy and negative connections to you. Now, they're called Aka cords. That's what they're, you know, in Huna. We did a deep meditation during class. And you go peripheral and you expand out. And we were doing this uh, meditation technique and this breathing technique called hot breathing. And I don't know how long, maybe it was 20 minutes into it. And I started, for the first time ever, I started getting a sense of that it was like a white cord 
connecting all over the room where people would touch and stuff, right? And right as I started to see the girl next to me is from New Zealand, Trish Bull, by the way. Hello. She's probably watching this. Um, she goes, oh, my God. And I was like, what? And I came out. I was like, oh, fuck. Cause she goes, did you see the chords? I was like, I was starting to. <laughs> so those chords are connections we connect with people. When you break the cords or dissolve the connections, now you can connect with them on a higher level, and that's the whole goal. So to start the year off, I would go and buy some white sage, or in this case, they're calling it mountain sage, okay? Because it breaks up the energy. Now, you can rub rubbing alcohol on your body, uh, on your forehead, your main chakras. you got one here, one here. Now, on the head, I, I just do a little bit. Or I might I have a spray that I have a mix of sea salt, rubbing alcohol. I use any kind of filtered water, right? So it doesn't, there's no perfect mix, 50-50 or a third rubbing alcohol, two-thirds water, or 50-50. How much salt do you put in there? And it's sea salt. Use sea salt. You can buy that at grocery stores. You can buy it pretty much anywhere. Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be perfect. It's the whole thing again. Again, now here, watch this. Salt has been used by people all the way back to, I don't know how far back, but when, remember when they tr traveled across the Nina, the Pinto, and the whatever the other ones are, from England all the way to the United States? Well, they would put salt all over the meat to preserve it because salt breaks up negative energy. Now, a lot of people are just like, oh, I don't know if I believe in spiritual stuff. Really, it's funny because it's all, if you study physics, if you study the basics of science, if you study history, We've been doing this stuff for that exact same reason. All right? Take, okay, hold on, let me catch my breath. I'm kind of rambling off here. All right, so number one, smudge your room or your whole place. All right? Number two, I would actually do a rubbing alcohol. Rub it on rub it on your forehead, rub it some on your face, on your, on your throat chakra. Really rub it, and I actually rub it. I pour quite a bit, a handful, and I really rub it, give myself kind of a firm massage, my thighs, my legs. And I put it all over my feet because it pulls out the toxins out of your feet, okay? And that's that's basically what we're doing is we're sucking out or drying up the toxins, okay? I always feel good. Whenever my body hurts and I'm feeling achy or sore, I always do this, okay? And then I'll let it dry off and then I'll, then I'll get in a hot shower or I'll do a hot sea salt bath, okay? Epsom salt is fine. You can also use Morton's regular uh, table salt. Any kind of salt breaks it up. I personally either go jump in the ocean, I'm serious, or I'll put sea salt in my in a hot bath and I'll use lavender and again I'll pour in some rubbing alcohol. All of this stuff breaks up all the energy, it clears your sinuses too by the way. And people are like, well how much lavender oil do you use? Like oh, about 8 drops, maybe 12 at, mount, at most, max. I don't put a lot in it, just until, because the, the hot water will really make it I guess steep it or whatever it's called, and it start, you can start to smell it. spreads throughout the whole room, the whole house, actually. So that's pretty much it for today. I just wanted to give you that to help you. Now, here's the thing. Let me say this real quick. It really, really works. If you have – okay, some of you, have you have you felt the, uh, the sting from a narcissist? It literally feels like a giant wasp sting, and it's like when it goes in you, it, it stings. It's like it's like it, it injected something and it fucking stings. Well, the reason why a narcissist will do that, and this is what I would call a demonic narcissist, okay? Some of you have felt it. I know I know a lot of you have because you've, you've told me. Um, it stings. Now, here's why they do that is because a person who is emotionally healthy is connected to their body. Technically, it's the left brain connected to the emotional, the logical brain, open to the emotional brain. That is a grounded person, which means your forehead is connected to your entire body. So when your awareness drops down inside, which is a big part of, it's a core piece of, if you take a course from me, that's the number one thing we're going to work on. Every time we get together, we're going to work on it. We're going to work on it. We're going to work out it, regardless of what we're doing that day. That is the number one thing we work on is to get you to be emotionally grounded, okay? Why does the narcissist sting you? Because they don't want you to go back down into your body because your body is your radar system. It's your awareness. If they can sting it and sting it, you'll hide up in here and you you, want, you don't want to go down inside. That's why a lot of people kind of walk on. I got this fake smile. Hi, how's it going? You know, They're kind of hyperventilating. They can't breathe deep and relax. 
it's because they probably got stung. And, and that's what a narcissist is doing to empaths. So you can't reconnect with your emotions, with your feelings, because that's how you connect to spirit. You connect to spirit through your body, through your five senses, through your right brain, through your, which is connected to your body, your emotions and feelings. That is how you become intuitive. A narcissist does not want you to be intuitive because then you'll see what they're doing. Okay? I am telling you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, if you feel a sting in your solar plexus, heart area, gut area, rub this all over it, all over it. It will disconnect it, okay? Take a salt bath, sea salt, lavender drop, oil drops, and some rubbing alcohol. You don't have to do the rubbing alcohol, but I always do. It just seems to really clear my sinuses. It just seems to break everything up. It will make you feel better. And it's not just because you took a hot bath. It is the salt and the rubbing alcohol that is breaking down the connections. And it really frustrates the hell out of the narcissist too, by the way. Hey, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. Get your year started right. I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless you.